Miss Boston, are you ready? I see you came back. How you doing? So how you doing today, Miss Boston? I'm doing good, but I need your help again. Okay, so talk to me. What seems to be the issue? My kitty is itching again, and I know you told me to stop using them products, but they just make my kitty just smell so good. Well, you know, I have to be honest, Miss Boston. It seems as though you don't want to listen to me. This is your fourth time this month with your kitty problems, and I keep telling you the same thing, but you don't want to listen to me. So yeah, but everybody on social media use those products, so why can't I use it? Yeah. And I can bet you that their kitties are purring too. Big purr. Okay, I guess I will listen because I get tired of keep trying to hide my panties from my boyfriend after every time I get an infection. Yeah, I bet you are. Huh? What'd you say? Oh, nothing. I didn't say anything. No, nothing at all. Okay, I promise you I'm going to listen this time. I'm ready to hear what you got to say. Let's go ahead and talk about what things I recommend and what things I do not recommend. And we can hopefully get this problem resolved. to my channel Ooh, how y'all doing yes we is back with another video okay we are talking about that feminine hygiene today so if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel also click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post and let's get into it because i got a lot to say so the first thing i want to talk about y'all is summer's eve douche or douche however you say it y'all either way you ain't even supposed to be using this as we all know you are not supposed to be inserting anything inside of your kitty cat cleaning it out and letting it come all out you're not supposed to be doing that come on now everybody knows research says that your kitty is a self-cleansing system we're gonna call it a system <laughs> but no seriously your kitty is self-cleansing so why do you feel the need to have to squeeze something up there and clear it out i don't understand i will never understand that as i said that already i am not a medical expert so if you feel comfortable dishing keep on dishing the next thing i want to talk about is summer's eve cleansing wash and that's cleansing wash in general now i personally do not use any type of cleansing wash i've never used any type of cleansing wash on my kitty cat and of course the doctors does not recommend this what is the fragrance on this it's golden glamour cleansing wash i don't understand why you need a cleansing wash when you can just use soap now i just want to talk about the things that's on here it says it's clinically tested safe scents removes odor causing bacteria gently cleanses and freshens the word freshens is what gets me i don't need my kitty cat to be freshened my doctor has always told me anytime you use something on your kitty cat before you do so and that includes wipes as well panty liners pads all that stuff make sure it does not have the word fragrance in it this has the word fragrance as the very last ingredient in this product again i I'm not a medical expert, so if you want to continue using your cleansing wash, you go right ahead. Okay, okay, okay. I know I'm going to strike a few of y'all with this one. Y'all probably going to be in y'all little fields, but it's okay. I'm here to help. I'm not here to judge. Honey pot. Let's talk about it because, baby, this was hard to find. I see a lot of y'all grabbing this product. Y'all selling it out. Y'all using it. And y'all is just going bananas over this stuff, y'all. And I don't know why. Honey pot, it seems to be the more popular brand. Oh, it's plain base it's healthier it's better than you know the uh summer's e feminine wash you still don't need it i just feel like at this point these companies are getting rich off of y'all again i'm not a medical expert so if you want to continue using your honey pot you go right ahead another product i see a lot of people using y'all is vagisil which i believe is also a feminine wash this is not good for you y'all please don't use this it says it's an odor block a daily intimate wash triple odor protection gentle on the skin skin tough on odor dye free 24 hour odor protection so my question is if you have an odor that is not normal why do you think a product like this is going to cure it if i have an odor and it's not my normal odor like my natural odor or scent i'm gonna question like okay what's going on like um i need to find out what's going on uh because i call my doctor for everything y'all i don't know if y'all like me but i call my doctor for everything the last ingredient on here says fragrance and i am not a medical professional so if you want to continue using your vagisil you go right ahead boo so now i want to talk about the do's those was the don'ts and mostly everything that i'm about to tell y'all i practice 100 and i have got it verified from my doctor that it is safe to do first thing is dove soap simple easy simple 
Easy Dove soap. And I've also found out from my doctor, y'all, to be honest, that you don't even need soap on your kitty cat. And you probably like, oh no, I'm using my soap. Me too, sis. I'm using my soap too. So this is original soap. This does not have any type of scent. This is the only soap I use on my kitty cat. Okay, so another product that I actually just recently found out about, y'all. I've always worn always pads, but I just found out that they got the cotton ones. And I love the flexible ones because they move with your body. And plus, I don't have like a heavy flow TMI, but I don't. But they do have different sizes. I got mine in a size two. Everybody knows it is healthy to put cotton, anything, whether it's a panty, panty liner, a pad, anything you're doing that's laying on your kitty cat and needs to be cotton, unless you're not wearing it for a long time. You know, if you want to wear like some cute drawers or something, you know, you wear that, but you cannot do that consistently. Most of the time, you either wear no drawers, which I prefer, no drawers, or cotton panty in the lining area. Okay, so this is tampons, as y'all know. I do not use tampons. My mom did not raise us to use tampons. I'm sorry, but that doesn't mean I never used one before. I have used one before and the reason I particularly don't like tampons is because they feel uncomfortable when I'm wearing it. I don't know if I'm just not putting it in right, but I just prefer not to use them. I just like my pads and keep it pushing, but I am not a medical professional. So if you want to continue using your tampons, you go right ahead. I prefer pads. So I know y'all probably like, well, you know, Rashaya, what am I supposed to do when you do get a yeast infection? Because it's very normal for women to get yeast infections. You can be doing everything right and something can be off just a little bit and you know, boom, you got a yeast infection and it's like so annoying, but it's is reality okay but if you do happen to get a yeast infection one thing i do not recommend y'all is do not take that flu fluconazole is that how you say it that the doctor prescribed you because if y'all know y'all know when you take that you feel relieved you know <laughs> yes and then next thing you know boom you got it again or then turn it into bv it is just too much so what i found out a good product to use that actually works is dun, 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 dun. so these right here y'all are the truth okay these are boring acid pills you insert them inside of your kitty it has the direction so if you want to buy them go ahead and check them out this is a healthy alternative i promise you you'll wake up in the morning and that yeast infection will be gone or whatever type of problem you have it will be gone another thing you guys have to do is take your probiotics i also have another brand right here both of these are good i've tried them both this is renew life four in one probiotic for women it has here that is good for digestive support immune health vaginal health and your urinary health i also have tried the doctor formulated probiotics women daily care is good for vaginal health immune health and digestive balance so not only is it good for your kitty but it's also good for your digestion now the last thing i want to talk about is actually to properly care for your kitty on the outside i wax but sometimes you know <laughs> i can't afford it and i do a little shaving or whatever like that but make sure y'all are exfoliating okay this is an exfoliator this is the exfoliating body polish and crushed almond and mango butter i have tried the other one as well so you just take some on your palm and you know do circular motion on your outside area i do this every other day it's very gentle on the skin this i recommend recommend whether you shave or you wax you have to you have to exfoliate y'all to bring up those new hairs so that they don't curl back inside another thing i recommend if you do not wax and you want to shave is using this one right here this nair is nair nourish shower power this has arrogan oil in there oh my god y'all this right here is busting i use this on my whole body and it lasts a very long time so if i'm slipping up on my waxing and i want to do you know some nair i do that i I did find out that nair is just equivalent as to shaving as we all know shaving is not great you know if you can afford to do waxing do that because shaving just leads to all types of hair bumps and dark spots and we ain't got time for that oh my gosh i swear by this razor i found out about this about a month ago and i was looking for a razor for my underarms and when i found this y'all oh my gosh it basically has like this layer around the razor that gets really soapy and it has coconut milk and almond oil on the outside and when you do it across your skin y'all when i tell y'all it feel like butter so that is everything i have as suggestions and tips y'all can listen to me if y'all want to i promise you you will not have no issue with the things that i have recommended again i am not a medical professional so if you do not feel comfortable listening to me that is okay these are my personal tips but if you guys like the video give me a thumbs up if you did not like the video give me a thumbs up i appreciate y'all for clicking on the video and i will see you guys in my next video peace